In this video, I will walk you through a 5 kW off-grid solar system, covering everything from choosing the right components to understanding the costs. We will calculate everything in these three simple steps. Then I will give you some more information about the system itself. I'm Nick, author of Off-Grid Solar Power Simplified, with over 2000 reviews. I help people create their own off-grid solar systems. Ready? Let's get started. Let's start by selecting solar panels. For this example, I will use Canadian Solar 400 Watt solar panels. To determine how many panels we need, divide the total desired solar power, which is 5000 watts, by the power of each panel, which is 400 watts. You will need 12 solar panels. And we have a total of 4800 watts. Next, we must calculate the charging current to choose the right charge controller. To find the charging current, divide the total solar power, which is 4800 watts, by the charging voltage of 57.6 volts. This gives us 83 amps. We will use a charge controller rated for 100 amps. A good choice is the Victron 450 volts 100 amp charge controller. Almost done. The next step involves calculating the maximum input voltage. When looking at the solar panel specifications, note the open circuit voltage, or VOC, which is 36.8 volts. We cannot wire all 12 panels in series, because the voltage would exceed the charge controller's 450 volt input limit. Instead, split them into two groups of six panels each connecting them to the charge controller's two MPPT inputs. Let's check the maximum input voltage. 6 panels times 36.8 VOC times 1.25, which is a safety factor, equals 276 volts. This is within the upper limit of 450 volts. The startup voltage is 120 volts. We add two DC breakers of 20 amps each, before the charge controller's input, to isolate the panels when needed. After the next step, we are going to size an inverter and generator. Step 2 is sizing the battery for our 5 kW off-grid solar system. Normally, you would start with the load analysis, then size the battery on the amount of solar. This time we know the amount of solar from the start, so we have to work backwards. When we look at the sun hours for Vancouver, we can see that we have several months over 3 sun hours. For the months without 3 sun hours, we will use a generator to recharge the battery. Using a generator will be cheaper than designing the system for a minimum of 1 sun hour in December. So we will work with 3 sun hours. 5 kW of solar panels will generate about 15 kW hours of energy per day. To store this energy, you would need a battery with a capacity of at least 15 kWh. For a 48V system, this can be achieved with three 48V 100Ah server rack batteries in parallel, each storing 5 kWh. This battery capacity ensures you can store all the energy generated during the day to use when the sun isn't shining. Keep watching to figure out how much power we can use daily. In step 3, we will choose an inverter and a backup generator. The inverter will convert the DC electricity stored in your batteries into AC electricity that your household appliances can use. I recommend the Victron MultiPlus 48V 5000VA low frequency inverter. Here's why. Low frequency inverters tend to last longer. It can handle surge loads better which is useful when starting appliances like refrigerators, pumps or table saws. It has a low idle power consumption of only 15 watts. It can work with a generator to recharge the batteries when solar power isn't enough. Let's size the backup generator. A generator can help recharge your batteries during cloudy days or long periods without enough sunlight. The Victron MultiPlus inverter has a 70 amp charging limit. I recommend the Honda 3000 watt inverter generator. Using 70% of the inverter's power output is recommended to increase fuel efficiency and reduce noise. 
Multiplying the generator output with 70%, we get 2100 watts. To figure out the maximum charging current, we divide the charging power by the charging voltage, and we become 36 amps. We can adjust the charging current from 70 amps to 36 amps in the Multiplus software, using an MK3 USB dongle. It will take 7 hours to fully recharge a 15 kWh battery with a generator. Stay tuned to find out what the system can run. Now let's talk about the wiring and fuses for our 5 kW off-grid solar system. If your panels are 50 feet or 15 meters from the charge controller, you will need a 14 gauge solar cable, as seen in this voltage drop calculation. Since there is no 14 gauge PV cable, we will use 12 gauge. The charge controller outputs 100 amps. Applying a 1.25 safety factor, you would need a cable that can handle 125 amps. Use 4 gauge welding cable, which can carry up to 150 amps. Install a 125 amp class D fuse to protect the cable. The inverter will draw a maximum of 104 amps. Applying the 1.25 safety factor, the maximum current is 130 amps. Again, use a 4 gauge welding cable and a 125 amp fuse. While the calculated current is slightly above 125 amps, the fuse will not blow at 130 amps, as we can see in this curve of the 120 amp fuse. Now many of you might ask what the system can run. First, we must figure out how much power we can consume daily. Off-grid solar design states you need 3 days of autonomy. If we divide the battery total power of 15 kWh by 3 days, we have 5 kWh of energy consumption per day. In this load analysis, we can use a fridge, a TV, several lights, a microwave, a freezer and a computer. Lastly, we have to factor in the inverter idle power consumption. We become a daily energy usage of 4600 watt hours. As you can see, it's not much for 5 kilowatts of solar. Many people who order my solar review service have asked me to create a system like this for tiny houses or cabins. Let's break down the cost of this 5 kilowatt off-grid solar system. Solar panels, $2000. Battery $4,500 Charge controller $1,200 Inverter charger $1,700 Generator $2,000 Wiring $400 Fuses and breakers $100 The total cost of the system is approximately $12,000 I have linked all the components in description from my recommended stores. Using these links helps me buy more solar equipment to test on the channel, at no extra cost to you. If you want more off-grid solar diagrams like this one, check the first link in the description or pinned comments to get them for free with explanations about their sizing, including wires and fuses, just like this video. Do you have questions about the system? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you in the next one.